All right, hey there, you guys. Rob Arrington with Deer Meat for dinner, and as you can tell, I have like no voice tonight. We are eating elk loin. For those of you who are not hunters, we are hunters, and we love eating what we're out there after. This was an amazing hunt with some amazing people. Now we're gonna show you a really fun, easy way to cook elk loin. And, I mean, there's no grill, virtually no setup. All we did, peeled some potatoes real quick, diced them up, we got a pot of boiling water, pour them in there. We're gonna make some homemade mashed potatoes. Just slide that right in there, and uh, take some butter. Remy's over there wanting to play ball. That dog is addicted to playing ball. This is my Everglades rub. This is kind of sweet. It's got some sugar, salt, spice. If you smell it, oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's just got everything. Apply it liberally because it's got a lot of sugar in it, and this is gonna help caramelize your steak. This stuff, you wanna just dip your finger in it and eat it, it smells so good. I guarantee you. Hey, and if you guys are getting ready for Christmas, this snack shack is totally a cool gift. How many times do you get somebody a gift and it's like they use it, get them a bottle of wine, they drink it in four glasses, it's gone. Get them a bottle of liquor, they might not even drink alcohol, but you wanna get them something that they remember you all year long, get them an Everglades snack shack, go to this website, <laughs> but uh, go to EvergladesSeasoning.com, check them out. All right, now there's a reason why I'm doing this. A number one, I want to cook this bacon in my in my grill pan. You'll see why. Just stick with me. Don't go away. Hey, you guys, let us know what you think. Subscribe to the page. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you like it, you don't like it. Tell us what you think and we appreciate you guys. What I'm doing with the bacon is I'm gonna let it sort of season the pan. I'm gonna get some of that bacon fat, some of that bacon grease. Hey, if you're eating elk, what's better than some baby bella mushrooms and onions? Now, while I'm cooking this, I just want you guys to know this was one of the most amazing hunts ever. Yeah, it's not the biggest bull, whatever. I'll actually show you the bull. That's what we're cooking right now. He's just a little four by five, but you know what? He might as well be a seven by seven that scores 450 because I was so proud of that bull, I can't even explain it to you. These are some of my other bucks, and little ones, big ones, whatever. All these mounts mean something very special to me, every one of them. Take the onions, whammy. Take the mushrooms. This is too easy, folks. All right, we're doing this in a two bedroom condo. I mean, I got a little tiny kitchen here. So if we can do it in this little kitchen, I guarantee you this is too easy. You can do this with deer meat, elk, wild hog, or you can just do this with a piece of meat from the store. Simple. That's what we're all about. With that, I know it sounds like a broken record, but you have mushrooms and onions, what better than a little Everglades? And the cool thing about Everglades is it's light. This is a light spice. It, if it looks like I'm applying a lot of it, it's because it's light. This stands for my salt, my pepper, all my seasoning. It's everything. Everything you need here. That's it. You might be asking yourself why I'm cooking this bacon. And you're going to find out. Just a little while longer. Okay, this, we can let it start nice and seasoned. Okay. We're not going to throw our bacon away, we need that. But now we can start with our elk. No grill, no nothing. Piece of cake. Take that, do two at a time. Right on that nice hot grill pan. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, so these have been cooking for just a couple minutes. Come check this out. Look at that. Look how sweet that is. 
All right, so we're getting good here. The meat, you're talking, I do not like my elk overcooked. Medium rare, maybe medium. If you like your, your food overdone, well done, that's up to you. I don't, that's me personally. Okay. This corn is just in love over here. These potatoes, looking good. Mushrooms and onions, coming down nice. Nice. Cannot have good mashed potatoes without butter. Gotta have butter. No other way around it. Throw it in there. Take your corn that you just drained out. Throw it back in there. Let that butter just melt down. Make quick work out of that. You can add garlic, chives, whatever you want, but you're going to see what I'm about to do. Ooh, look how good those look. Then when it's like this, you can just take this, and just roll it around in there. Just make it fall in love. Let me show you a trick. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I bet you dollars to donuts that this is good. Mushrooms and onions look so good. Look at that. Just come down. This is fast. I mean, I think I started at like 7.15, so we're talking 15 minutes. Check this out. Now, you saw me cooking that bacon. Put a little bacon. Look at that. How do you like that? Take some of this cheese. Just, uh, this just shredded triple cheddar. Put right on top there. Right on top. I like that. A little bit more. Perfect dough. Your corn. It's already been buttered, it's already been seasoned. All you need to do is chew on that sucker. Now. Get some of that love right out of there. Oh, damn. What I'm talking about. I'm gonna finish this sucker off with some mushrooms and onions. Alright. There you go. Totally simple. Elk loin steak, mushrooms and onions, unbelievable corn on the cob, homemade mashed potatoes with bacon and shredded cheese. Hey, all you gotta do, subscribe to the channel, like us, hang out with us. This is our little two bedroom condo right here in Jupiter, Florida. Me and Sarah, this is the way we live, this is the way we roll. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think. Thank you so very much. Now, we're gonna set the table and eat. Check this out. All right, <clears throat> well here's the deal. It's super easy, let's see how it looks. I'm praying it's not overcooked. Look at it. Just look at that. That's exactly what you're looking for. Smells so good. So tender. Has the most amazing flavor to it. We did it all in 15 minutes right there on the stove. That's what I call the perfect ending to the most amazing hunt. This is why God put me on this planet is to live like this. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'm gonna eat, all right?